is generative ai just a bubble or a temporary thing which is going to burst very soon or is this something which is going to stay for long term should you be worried about generative ai should you be worried that it is going to take away your job these are all very very important things which we are going to talk about in today's video so please stay with me till the end first of all let me give you a little background when i started my career some 20 years ago Java was the main happening thing. A lot of people used to learn Java because a lot of businesses were going online by creating their own websites. So Java was a hot cake at that point. But very soon the dot com bubble burst happened which means a lot of businesses that were going online did not do well and they started to close. As a result a lot of people lost their jobs because of layoffs and recession. I was one of them. One more trending thing at that time was people moving from their domain jobs into IT industry because they were functional experts. These people transitioned into technical skill sets like Cobol or DB2 and then they used to work on mainframe tech. So these were the things which were hot in that particular time frame. Few years down the line ERP was a trend. ERP really picked up well, SAP and Oracle were really hot and lot of people got jobs and made careers in Oracle ERP or SAP. And at that point in time, AI, data, data science or generative AI were mostly theoretical things. There might be research happening or there might be few companies who might be doing work 10 years ago in these techs. But for general people like us, software engineers, it was just a theoretical concept. But in the last few years, the trends have really changed. In today's world, you can't imagine to survive in your tech job without knowing AI or generative AI or data related stuff. Because you may think that, okay, my job is secure. There is no AI or no tool which is going to take away my job. You may be right, but please understand that if technology does not take away your job directly, a person who knows that technology may take away your job. So in the software development life cycle, wherever you are, whether you are a business analyst or whether you are a coder or a tester or a support person, all the roles in the software development life cycle are sooner or later going to be impacted by AI or AI tools. Hence, the people who will be able to survive for the next 5 to 10 years will be the people who know these tools or technologies. So it doesn't matter what you are doing today. You may be a tester, you may be a coder, you may be a support analyst, or you may be a business analyst. Irrespective of your role, your focus should be to learn the right relevant AI tech or tool for yourself. Now the million dollar question is how do you find that? And here are simple steps that you need to execute. First of all, find out a list of AI companies or startups that are doing well today. You can just simply do Google and find out the top 5 AI companies. Now, if these companies have offices in India or if they are going to start office in India, for example, OpenAI has hired its first employee and soon OpenAI will start operations in India. So the process is first find out the top AI companies or you can also find the top service companies or top product companies and within these companies find out what are the roles related to AI or generative AI. So for example you find out top 5 AI companies or startups, you find out top 5 product companies, top 5 service companies, you have a list of 15 companies. Now go to Lockery.com or go to LinkedIn and find out what kind of roles in the AI space are these companies hiring for today. It can be a generative AI developer, it can be a tester, it can be a lead level role. Please find out what kind of roles are these companies hiring for. Once you find out those roles, please find out the associated job descriptions because the devil is in the details. Please find out what kind of skill sets are these companies looking for, what kind of experience are these companies looking for when they are hiring for these AI or generative AI roles. Once you have those skill sets and experiences listed in front of you, then you clearly know that today in your role, what skill sets are you using and in future if you have to transition, what kind of skills you need to develop. And believe me, 
in the software development life cycle whether you are an analyst tester coder or a support agent all roles will have a ai avatar all roles will have a future ai role in which you will have legacy skill sets or functional knowledge or your core skills plus ai skills and the best way to figure this out is by doing some reverse engineering first figuring out what companies are looking for which is the demand and then identifying the gap from where you are and then learning that futuristic skill set and lastly we also need to understand the business application of a new trending technology for example ai or generative ai has so much widespread application in india itself forget about the word in india itself we speak so many languages india is such a diverse country that if at a regional level or at a local level ai or generative ai can be applied then it will have a huge impact so the scope is pretty widespread and when the scope is widespread the number of solutions that are needed will also be on the higher side and that is why companies will need people who can develop those solutions so in my view ai and generative ai will generate these new kind of jobs so the real big question is whether you are ready to jump on the bandwagon are you ready to learn the new skill set are you really ready to transition from the old ways of working into new ways of working are you really ready to put in the efforts in short AI or generative AI is not any bubble which is going to burst. If you don't take any action now, the person who is going to take action will be at an advantage and sooner or later you will be kicked out or replaced by this person. Okay, so please don't be laid back on this one. Start to act here and now. All right, I hope this connects with you directly. Let me know what you think about it in comments. If you are new to the channel please subscribe if you like the video hit the like button and do not forget to share it in your whatsapp groups i will see you on another video soon take care and bye from now